Okay, everybody, this episode is on creating titles inside of Premiere Pro. First of all, this is pretty simple. You can just go down to your little new item icon right here on your project window. You click that and it brings up this little bar showing a bunch of items that you can generate. One of the generators is title here. I'm gonna click title and it's going to bring up this little window. What it's going to do is it's going to base the title's dimensions and frame rate and pixel aspect ratio based off of the timeline that you are currently inside of. So if you have different timelines, if you have a 4K and a 1920 by 1080, make sure that you are in the correct timeline because it will generate titles based on the, that timeline settings. So now you can name the title here. I'm going to call this opening title and hit OK. And what it will do is it will bring open this window. This is very much like a Photoshop editor here, basic Photoshop editor where you have your text tools and you have different and you can actually do different shapes and you can do and over here you will have properties for the titles that you add and you also have templates down here at the bottom. So that's kind of a quick overview there. But this is very similar to a basic little Photoshop editor. One thing this does is it shows the image where your playhead is. So if you're wanting to put your title over black at the beginning before you fade in, that's one thing. But right now this is showing the image image that you're going to be putting the title over. And this is such a positive looking image right here. So we're going to put some positive looking titles as well. If you saw the previous episode, this is based on a fight scene, kind of teaching how to do a fight scene where this guy gets the crap beaten out of him by this, this girl and another girl because uh, he's trying to steal their food. So anyway, I, I know you don't care about that story, but uh, yeah, there you go. So we're going to put titles on this. First of all, if we're going to be putting titles, superimposing the titles over the video, you'll want to have your playhead over the video that you're superimposing on. This is just a reference visual here. It's not going to actually put the titles on it right away. This is just so you can see what it's going to look like over the top of video. So let's say we want to create one. Let's do two. We're going to do one for the opening title before this in black, and we're going to do one over this video right here. So right now I'm going to go up and click on the text, which is the type tool, which is already selected. I'm going to click in here, and it will add a blinking cursor. Now you can start typing. We're going to call this the Baseball Bat Movie. So right there, we've added the title, and it's going to be up in the top left-hand corner here. Now you can do certain things here. Once you've typed that in, you can actually select your arrow. It'll put these nodes around it, which are resizing nodes. You can move this around, and you can get a rotate to rotate your titles. Let's put a slight rotate on this like this, because this is such a co uh, co comedic movie that we want this to be kind of uh, kind of some funky fonts here. So we're going to put that there. Uh, you can go to the corner here, grab this, and you can make it larger. You can scale this and make it look longer or stretched out. If you hold down shift while you're doing that, it will constrain the proportions. Right now I'm holding down shift and it constrains proportions. Very similar to Photoshop. Over here on the side, we have things such as your, your position and your width. You really don't need to use these as much because you can just grab it over here and manipulate all those visually over here. Under properties though, you can select your font family here and you can arrow down. I've got that all selected and I'm going to arrow down. And as I arrow down, you'll notice it changes the font. You'll go through all the fonts and find one that you like. I like that title right there. Let's see if they have a bold version of it. I'm going to go to the font style and arrow down. And they don't. They just have ultralight and ultralight italic. So you can change the version of that font down here. They have bolder other types. Uh, but I like that font right there. And now you have font size, which can also be changed over here as well. You can just grab this and scale it up. Hold down shift to constrain proportions. Or you can go over here and click on the font size and increase the font right there. Just click in there, type in the new number, hit enter, and it'll change the size. Aspect you can change. As we showed before, you can just come out here and grab it and change the aspect as well. So a lot of these things you can change just simply by grabbing these nodes over here and manipulating the text. You can change its position. You can change the width and the height. You can constrain proportion. You can change the font size by holding down shift and, and stretching this out. And then you also have typical word processor items like leading, kerning, and tracking, which change basically the distance between the text. A lot of these things you just kind of go and experiment with. Leading changes the space between the text, kerning between the, when you press return, the distance between the vertical position of the text. Kerning will add space or retract the space between the actual characters. So these things you can kind of experiment with and change the text and get exactly what you need. They do have things like small caps. You can put, you can change your text to caps with the large cap and small caps, or you can do all caps. Uh, you can underline your text and a whole bunch of other things in here. Like I said, a lot of this you just have to experiment with. A couple things that I usually do is I will go down to shadow. If something is not standing out, you can change your color of your font down here. You click on color and you can choose a particular color. I wish this would show a live update of the color. It doesn't. You hit OK and it changes the color. I'm going to undo that. But one other thing you can do to make your text stand out is your shadow right here. 
If you click on shadow, this adds a pretty standard drop shadow that you'll get on, on text here. You can see that the kind of faint shadow that comes out right there, and you got a, a slight shadow behind the text, but you can actually change the opacity of this and make it a darker shadow. You can see that getting darker. Uh, you can make it softer so it's not such a hard line shadow. The size will make that dark shadow larger, and the spread will smooth it out and make it more of a soft shadow. So there we go. We've got a good little shadow on that. And now when I'm done with this here, we can close this. We're going to show a couple other things coming up, but I can close this and it has added my opening title right there. It has not put it on the video. It's just generated that. It's just using the video as a reference. So now I can place this on the timeline wherever I want. I can grab this, take it in here and drop it on top of the video track above. If I put it on the video track here, it will eat over all my video. So I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to size this down. I'm going to trim this. So it's about the same length as this video here. I'm going to highlight this text here. And now this works as um, a, a very typical uh, video clip here. Okay, and since this is treated like a regular video clip here, like we we can trim it there and we can also select this clip. And I'm going to do Command D and it will add dissolves on both sides. So this is a really short clip here. Let's make it go. And I'll trim it so it's longer here because those dissolves fill up the entire clip. There we go. Let me show that again. I'm going to get rid of these dissolves and show how that works. Select the clip, do Command D, or control D on a PC, and it adds dissolves, fade ins on both ends here. And now as we play through this, the title fades in and fades out. There we go. So we've got the baseball bat movie. There we go. There's our awesome title. Okay, let's say we want to generate another title, and say we want to generate one that is similar font. Some of the work is already done here, so we don't need to uh, go down and do the whole process over again and create a new title. What I can do is simply grab this title here, double click on it, it opens it up. Now I don't want to start changing this because this is the title I've already added to the timeline there. This is the one called opening title. Let's do another title here. What we're going to do is we're going to move up to this little item right here, new title based on current title. What that's going to do is it will generate, it'll basically make a copy of this one into a new title and then we can alter it. So I'm going to click that and I'll say what do you want your title, new title to be called and I'll call it second title or we can say second open title or open title, let's say open title number two. Hit OK and now it's generated down here a second title and this is the one and that's the one that we're editing here. Just keep that in mind if you don't select that it'll start, it'll, it'll change the original title that you have already placed in there. So I'm going to double click in here and we'll say Starring Kinetic Johnson. There we go. This is our action hero's name right here. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to grab my open title 2, drag it over, place it on my timeline here, and I'm going to select that and do Command D. And now it will fade in. So after this one's over, that will fade out, and the new one will fade in. Now say I don't like where that's positioned, I can just simply double click on this. I can grab this title, drag it down. I can change the rotation back and right here I'm holding down shift and it will lock it to the to the straight position there and then I can put it down there. Let's put it right there. There we go. So I'll close that and you'll notice it has changed the position of this. And the way you do that is just once again is you simply double click on it, open it up and do the changes. So I'm going to shorten that. There we go. Now let's say we want to add a title right before the clip here. I'm going to actually select this clip and do a dissolve at the beginning. Command D or Control D so that fades in with the title. And before this when it's in black I want a title to fade in and then fade out and then have it come to this opening clip here. So I'm going to grab my open title too. I want to say the same font and we'll call this and we're going to go up to our title generator or the new title item icon here. Click on that and we're going to generate a new title. We'll call this first title. Hit OK. And it's generated this as the new, as the first title. Now I can change this and I'll say an awesome, this is my, we'll call this my movie production company, an awesome movie production. And now I want this centered here because the first title opens up. So I'm going to go up here. You've got, you've got up here, you can tell this to center it, to justify it to the left or to the right. I'm going to hit center. It has centered my text. I need to add an extra space there. There we go. And I'm going to go down here. And this is kind of a nice little feature right here. If you want to center things vertically or horizontally, here is your vertical center right there. You click that and it centers it in the, uh, vertically. And clicking here will center this horizontally. So right there, I've got my entire title centered there.
I'm going to close that. And notice I had this my playhead at the very beginning, so I'm not looking at it over any sort of uh, image here. And now I can grab this, drop it into my source monitor. I want this open title to be six seconds. I'm going to hit six, period, to go in six seconds, hit enter. Six seconds into the title, hit an out point. And my playhead is right where I wanted at the beginning, so I'm going to hit comma and insert that at the beginning. I want to do a dissolve, fade in, fade out of this. So I'm going to select this clip and do Command D. But notice it didn't add one at the end because these two clips are butted together. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to hit A for my all tracks forward. Click this and that just selected all the tracks forward right there. It's this tool right here, all tracks forward. I'm going to hit Command or it's Alt on a PC and I'm going to arrow to the left one single frame. And now those are no longer touching right there. There's a little teeny gap right there. So I'm going to hit V for my select tool. Select this clip here and now do Command D and it'll add a dissolve on both sides. If clips are butted up against each other, it's going to try to add a cross dissolve between the clips. So right now I just want this to fade out. So I had to do one single frame between these, these two clips here so it didn't try to add that dissolve between them. I'm going to hit Home, go to the beginning, let's play. There's my fade in for six seconds. Fade out and it fades into these titles here. A couple other things that, that the titler has here. Let's click New, Title, I'm going to name this End Credit. Hit OK, Generate a New Title. I want to show the, the templates that they down, have down here at the bottom. There's some other features you can kind of mess with. I, I recommend messing with some of these other features, experimenting with them. They have some things that you can do titles on. On a path, you can have uh, some scrolling credits as well. And that's this little feature up here, your roll and crawl options to have text uh, scroll across the screen. We'll show that in a minute here. But these are templates down here. First of all, what you do is you type some text inside here. So at the end, let's have some text say, thank you for watching. And let's increase our font size, make this bigger. We're going to center these here. These title styles down here. These titles can all be generated manually over here. These are different font types, but they've already created some templates for us to start with. So you can go down here and if you see something you like, you just click on it and it will change your text that you already have selected up here to uh, this style down here. So now we can center that. And now you can go down here and you can manipulate this. You can change your color gradient. Right now this text has a color gradient. Right now this text has a color gradient and with the fill type it has an outer stroke as well. You can see the outer stroke right there on the text. So you can go down here and mess with these things and change your colors. So if you want to customize this a little bit more, you can click on things like the color and the outer fills and just see what you get. Let's change that to blue. That'll change like the um, a shade in the, in the text there. So this already has a lot of layers here of fill and different types of inner and outer strokes here that they've been using uh, to create this, this template. And if you mess with this, you'll kind of see different things that you get. If let's go for another example, let's go up to our text, select this, add some more text. Changes back to kind of a basic type of text right here. Put hello in there. Select this text and let's go down to something like sheen here. We're going to do a background. We're going to go to the fill and let's mess with the sheen on this clip right here. Let's make this font to larger and mess with the sheen here. And see it kind of adds a little reflective shine kind of in the middle to make that a little bit uh, textured instead of just solid text. So it's kind of a decent little titler. It's not incredibly powerful like Photoshop. In fact, if you want to, you can Photoshop items and bring them into Premiere. And there's my end credit right there. And there you go. Hello, thank you for watching. And I didn't put any punctuation on hello. But if you want to use Photoshop as well to do a titler, this is not really a Photoshop tutorial, but if, if you are familiar with Photoshop, Photoshop files do work in Premiere and they do work quite well. If you're working in a 1920 by 1080 environment, under Photoshop, you can tell it to do film and video as a template. You can pull this down and tell it to do HDTV 1080p. I'm going to hit OK, and it will generate a background. Let's just do a quick little title here. I'm going to get rid of this background here. Because if you're doing Photoshop, you will want to likely generate an alpha channel here, kind of a see-through channel, so it's just putting the text and not a solid uh, white block on there. So let's change our font. Let's make some text here. Go to our blending options, do a bevel and emboss, just kind of bring this text out a little bit, do a drop shadow. 
like I said, this is not a um, this is not a Photoshop tutorial, so I'm kind of going bolting through this. I'm just showing some different options. If you're good at Photoshop and you want to do some Photoshop tutorials or learn Photoshop, you can use Photoshop to add titles to Premiere, and it works quite well. And one cool thing about Photoshop, and you can actually do this in the title as well, you can actually add photos or anything else inside of here and make some clip art or whatever you want to do. So I'm going to add a cheesy clip art of a duck here. I'm going to select my outside white values, delete that stuff right there. And there we go. So I've got a duck here, and I want that behind my title. I'll put it behind the title. There we go. This has nothing to do with my fight scene, or maybe it does. Maybe these, this is like a very abstract movie with ducks and fights and stuff like that. So I added my duck, but I just want to show how you can add. If you if you can do a really cool title in Photoshop, you can add clip art. You can add a you can add clip art. You can add a whole bunch of different items. Call that end title. Save it. Close this. I'm going to import this into Premiere. And it's going to ask, do you want to merge all the layers? You can do individual layers if you're going to be doing animations and whatnot, but right now I'm just going to merge these two selected layers. The background is turned off, so it's going to have that alpha channel. And now we can bring this in and superimpose it over the video. Or you can have it as an end title separate from the video. But notice as but notice as I put it in, it's got the drop shadow, it's got the embossed video. I did a really crummy job on the cutout of that duck there. You can see some pixels or hard pixels around the edge. But that's essentially how you do that. If you go into Photoshop, really make things look nice. You can add photographs or you can add or you can add graphics and a whole bunch of different things. I'm going to add a fade in, fade out. So at the end of my movie here, my title fades in. And my title fades out. There we go. As people are fighting with knives and trying to kill each other, a title comes up saying an awesome movie with a duck with a crappy little cutout right there. I'm not a Photoshop master, but if you are good with Photoshop, I've seen uh, people can do some really nice graphics and put them into Premiere and they look really, really nice. Lastly here, let's show how to do some scrolling credits within the titler. I'm going to generate a new title and we'll call this scrolling credits. I'm going to add a block of text here. I'm going to paste in just some basic credits here. This, these are not really formatted or anything, but just to show you, if we have a bunch of credits installed, you can go in here and format them. Add people's names in here. And once you get these all formatted the way you like, then we're going to turn this into some scrolling credits here. Okay, if you want to kind of format these, notice how the text goes out of the screen here. You can simply select your arrow, move this up, and add names onto it. And there we go. Pretend we get all these done here. Now we're going to do the scroll. First of all, I'm going to change my font. Let's find a font that I like. Right there, I like that font. So now I'm going to grab this here. All right, so now that I've got this text selected, I can just go up to the top here and click on the Roll Crawl options. You click on that, it'll bring up this window here. And these are really basic. Uh, they don't really have any complex uh, scrolling options. You can do a crawl left or right if you wish to. If you're doing like a news crawl going across, I'm going to show how to do the, the roll right now. I'm going to click Roll. And right now it's going to bring up some options, uh, pre-roll, if you want some time beforehand. This is really not necessary or post-roll because you can just edit this down in the timeline. But I'm going to hit Start Off Screen and End Off Screen. Because if you don't, what it's going to do, it's going to roll up till the text is there and then it just cuts out of it. So it doesn't really have any sort of animation features where it slowly comes to an end and then it fades out or anything like that. And it can stay on screen for a few seconds and fade out. If you want to do that sort of stuff, you really have to do it in After Effects. I'm going to click End Off Screen, so it will scroll all the way from the top to the bottom. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to close this now, and here's my scrolling credits title right here. I'm going to grab this and drop it in at the end of my movie, or you can drop it over your movie as well. Let's have it start while the movie is still going, and then we're going to have it end off screen. As this video here, we're going to have this video fade out at the end here. Let's have that video fade out, dissolve. So as this fades out here, your credits are going to be scrolling. And it's going to scroll from this point to this point. And notice how fast it does here. I think that's like over a 10 second video span here. Let's see how long that is. It's actually a six second span there that it's lasting over. So it's going to scroll all those credits in six seconds. Now if those credits are going by too fast. All you have to do is grab the edge of your title and you just stretch it out. You trim it outwards. And now if we play, it will do it slowly. It'll take a longer period for it to scroll those credits, the same amount of credits. And not too bad. Does a pretty decent job of scrolling there. So now what I can do at the end is I can go to the beginning, 
grab this first title here, copy it, go to the end, and when that scrolling credit's done, paste that. So now when this is through scrolling, and I'm going to grab this, move it in just a little bit. So as that's scrolling out, my awesome movie production will fade in. So those are kind of the basics of the titler in Premiere. If you have any questions or comments, please post them and I will try to get back with you.